Hello guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. So I was sifting through all of my makeup and I realized there's a ton of drugstore stuff that I have never tried before. Some stuff I've put aside for first impressions, some stuff I've just straight up forgot about. Some of it has been out for a while and some of it is brand new. So I thought I would sit down and combine two of my favorite videos to film, first impressions and drugstore. This is not a complete full face, but it is very nearly. So there's a few products. I am super excited, so I'm gonna keep the intro short and sweet. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up for me, subscribe to my channel. Oh no. Let's get started. Okay then, so I do have my skincare on already. I have also soaked my brows. Of course, using my absolute favorite, this is Soap Brows from West Barnco. I have just started doing this before putting any like foundation or anything on. It gets really messy up the top when I do this after. So yeah, doing it first is just a little bit cleaner. I'm not gonna do anything too crazy and I'm not gonna do a cut crease. I promise. Famous last fucking words, I say that every time. But this time, we're not doing a cut crease. So I'm just gonna jump straight in with primer. I feel like there's no need to gab on about shit, like I always do. So this is the brand new Glow Fix Brightening Primer from XX Revolution, which is the new brand from Makeup Revolution. If you guys don't know who they are, wow. Honestly, I mean, I've talked about them enough. I have my own palette with them. So you really, you really should know. I wasn't actually gonna use this. I was gonna put it in the kind of like giveaway, give to friends pile, but I'm kind of like intrigued to try it just because it is a glow product. And you'll know, I love the glow. I did swatch this on my hand when I was trying out all of the XX products for the first time. This is a little bit tan. I don't know how tan this is gonna go on my skin, but on my hand, it was, it was a little darker than me. <laughs> Let's give it a fucking whirl. Again, the scent is amazing. Oh my God, why is my skin so reactive? A light breeze and I am tomato red. Wow, just gonna check this actually says glow. It does, how peculiar. Mm, mm. Glow, no. I don't really see the glow. My skin feels so soft. Actually fucking feels like silk. And for that reason, I'm gonna put a bit more on. But glow, I don't see it. It's not mattifying, but I feel like my skin was glowier with just my skincare on. It's also not tan, which is, which is wonderful. I honestly thought this was gonna be like really, really dark on my skin. I was wrong, which is very rare. It does have like a, a very slight color to it. I don't see the glow. If anything, my skin feels, I, I don't wanna say matte because it's not matte, but it, it's just not glowy, <laughs> but it is goddamn soft. Honestly, not like my favorite type of primer, but we will see how foundation lays on top. For foundation, this is also coming from XX Revolution. This right here is the Liquid Skin Double Fix Foundation. This is the other one that I didn't use in my last video. So in my last video, I used the Luminous one, which I have not put down. I am unbelievably obsessed with this. And I've been mixing it with my Laura Mercier, which is my favorite. Unreal, unfucking real So yeah, this is the other foundation from XX Revolution. So this apparently claims to have a silk finish, long wear liquid skin foundation, full coverage for a flawless complexion. It's infused with vitamin E and hyaluronic acid to hydrate the skin. I love me some hyaluronic acid. I'm gonna try the shade 3.5 just cause that's what it was in the Luminous. So I'm hoping in terms of shade, they are similar. And of course, just applying that with the old beauty blender. Okay, it looks like my color. I'm hoping it like settles a little bit. I am so pale. <laughs> I have really high hopes for this given the success of the Luminous Foundation. Okay, that is fucking beautiful. Oh my God. My skin looks airbrushed, fucking airbrushed. Oh, revolution. I don't know if it's the primer just cause that made my skin for the 20th time super soft or if it's just the foundation or a mixture of both. I am thoroughly impressed with this brand. So foundation for me is really kind of like telling on the nose area. It can look beautiful up here where I don't have any texture at all. Like this part of my face is the smoothest. The nose is really the area where it's like, hmm. this is flawless. This is absolutely flawless. My nose looks incredible. Foundation is on, it's been on for a couple of minutes now. I'm I'm very impressed with XX Revolution as a whole, but these two foundations, obviously I've just used this one today. These are two of the best drugstore foundations I have ever tried. This is full coverage, the skin match is perfect. This one is a little bit more of a kind of like satin matte skin finish, whereas obviously the Luminous is very dewy and very glowy, which I do prefer. But this foundation, even though it does have a little bit more of a matte finish, is stunning. And you guys know my skin is dry, I'm not into like really heavily matte foundations, so this isn't like crazy matte, it is just more of kind of like a satin demi matte finish, but I am already very fucking in love with this. I beg you, find a pull. 
not today. We are off to a wonderful start. Let's watch Morphe fuck it up. So for concealer, I'm going in with the Morphe concealer. I have never actually tried this. It has been in the drawer for such a long time. I'm pretty sure I bought this at the Morphe store in London ages ago, like months and months and months ago. I got the shade C1.15. This looks very, very bright. So, um, pray. Oh, bitch, that is white. She's bright. I haven't heard a lot about this concealer, actually. A couple of people have said it's relatively nice. I'm just gonna take a dot more or two. That is kind of stunning. I have no idea why, but I wasn't expecting that to be as nice as it is. I wouldn't say it is like unbelievable coverage. I would prefer a little bit more. I mean, it's beautiful and it's got coverage to it, obviously, but it, I, I don't know. Medium coverage, maybe? Or maybe I just didn't put enough on. I am pleasantly surprised. It is a little bit brighter than I want it to be, which obviously is my fault. I should have reined it in on the color selection, but I think it's blended into the foundation beautifully. The coverage is, I mean, it's nice coverage, but again, like I, I do prefer a fuller coverage. I think the finish is gorgeous. I like. I'm quickly just gonna add a little bit of cream contour because I don't have a contour product and I don't want to go in with a powder one. So I'm just gonna add this one. This is the one from Huda. Honest to God, this is the best cream contour product in existence. And I will not hear another word about it. And this is so perfect to the point where I, I would happily blend this out with a brush and just leave it at that. Huda's complexion products are next level. I haven't tried the foundation before because I really struggled to find my shade, so I just kind of gave up. But this and the loose powder, all time faves. So next, I'm gonna try a liquid illuminator from Ardell. This again is a product I've had for a little while now. So this is the Attitude Adjuster Shade FX Drops. Um, I've given most of the shades away, but I do still have two. So I've got Magic Hour and Game Changer. I think I'm gonna use the shade Magic Hour just because it's a little bit lighter and a little bit more golden, which I've kind of been preferring with liquid illuminators recently, which is a Another thing, I am so into liquid illuminator right now. And if you guys have been watching me for a little while, you know that I, like even cream contour, I hate cream face products or did hate. I have recently come to love them. And honestly, I am absolutely here for it because they look stunning. So I'm just taking a little bit on my hand and then using my sponge. I am gonna very, very lightly, just, I mean, I'm like barely even touching my skin. Okay, I hate that. What is this? I don't like that. There's no glow to that and it's kind of like broken up the concealer a little bit. Like if I put it on my forehead and my nose, which is where the lights will like pick up the most, I am Confucian. I, I don't like that. Very simply put. Yeah, that's literally done nothing. Awesome. So I just gone ahead and set everything with a little bit of powder. Concealer looks great, foundation looks great. Whatever the fuck this was, it's not there anymore. On to bronzer, this one I am so, so excited for. This is the brand new Splendor Ultra Matte Bronzer from Makeup Revolution. I have already opened this just to have a quick look and it looks, it looks lovely. So this right here is what it looks like. I picked up the shade Light, obviously. This to me looks like the perfect midway between cool and warm contour shade that I'm just obsessed with. And another great thing about this line, the new bronzers that have just dropped, these come in so many dark shades. So if you are someone with a deep dark skin tone and you are struggling for bronzers. Obviously there are brands like Fenty which really highly cater to those skin tones but for some people that is a little bit out of their price range. Revolution have really come through with their shades which isn't something new like they have what is it like 50 shades of foundation of their concealers so definitely give them a little look if that's something you are interested in. So I'm just blending this out. It looks a little bit dark because the concealer is so bright. Hopefully when I do eyes and stuff it'll just kind of like settle but I mean hopefully you can see how nicely that has blended into my skin. It also smells unreal. It's kind of like coconutty, but not. Yeah, that is blended gorgeously. That shade is ideal. That is such my go-to shade with bronzer. It always looks super harsh on the screen. So I always refrain from putting more on. And then when I come to edit it, I'm like, hmm, could have put some more on. Revolution at the moment. Oh, bitch. For highlight, I have this one from Spectrum. This is the Sunray Highlighter. This packaging, first of all, is stunning. It's astrology themed and like just all of the designs I love. Same with the inside packaging. Oh, and Sophie and Hannah who own this brand are also from Wales. So shout out to my fellow Welshies. I'm not too sure if they still live in Barry, but that's where this brand was like started, which isn't too far from where I used to live. So I'm gonna take a bit of that on my M510, a brush that I've become like really obsessed with recently. 
Okay. Oh, I didn't even show you guys the inside. So this is what it looks like. It has all these kind of, it looks like a moon, which I'm obsessed with. Again, fits into the whole like astrology theme with the packaging. But it has all these little like craters of gold and rose gold. Honestly, like the product in the pan looks gorgeous. And the product on the skin also looks fucking gorgeous. Obviously the highlighter itself as a whole is white, but having all of those like shimmery gold accents gives it like a really nice warmth on the skin, which I am loving. Sometimes when highlighters are white, they can tend to go super fucking ashy and it is, it's ugly. But having these little gold flecks, obviously, and like counterbalances all of that, that is lovely. I have no idea how this is formulated, but that on my skin is airbrushed. That has literally just melted. Oh, okay, we slipped up in the middle there, but we are back on track. That is lovely. Normally, if a highlight is gold, it doesn't really look great on my skin. The Amrezy highlighter from ABH is so beautiful, but it is a little bit gold for my skin tone, so it kind of, it just looks a little bit like foily. This is so, so nice. And it is very gold. It's not a highlight shade that I would normally kind of gravitate towards, but yeah, beautiful. So I was gone ahead and added a little bit of blush, did my brows and primed my eye. Maybe I think my brows are too much. So for my eyes, I'm going in with the Editor Palette from Ciate London, which has very reflective packaging. This is what it looks like on the inside, a very kind of pretty like berry palette with a lot of these foil shades. It kind of looks like that one Huda Beauty palette. Oh, what is in my fucking eye? Also, where I've added like blush, where that Ardell thing is, like where it disrupted the concealer, it's kind of grabbed and I don't know if you can see that, but I can. Anyway, I'm just gonna take a fluffy brush, start with this dark shade here and then this deep burgundy. And I've obviously gone ahead and primed my eye with my P. Louise base, which I do actually now have a discount code for and I haven't mentioned that yet. P. Louise reached out to me and asked if I wanted a code with them. And I don't do codes with brands, like I haven't done one for years. But I did say yes, obviously, because it's a product that I use religiously, like more than anything probably. It's a product I love and trust and have no problem recommending to you guys. So yeah, if you do want to save any money on P. Louise products, then you can use my code JACK10. It is an affiliate code, so I do it in commission, so if that's not your thing, by all means, don't. But yeah, P. Louise are currently the only brand that I have a code with, just because, like I said, it's got to be a brand that I, like, really, really love. And obviously, I have to use their products enough to be affiliated with them in that way. So I'm just taking those colours and kind of creating a, like, V eye shape. Not being too precise, which is why I'm using a bigger brush, because obviously I'm not doing a specific crease look and I'm putting something all over my lid so it doesn't really matter. And then with no extra product, I'm just gonna tap out those edges, kind of blend it like up. Uh, but yeah, for P. Louise base, just because I get asked a lot, I kind of switch between the shades 0 0.51 and 2. It's kind of whatever I grab out of the drawer first, just because those three shades work, like today I've used shade 1. But yeah, I kind of flip between those ones. So the base is what I would like absolutely recommend. They also have palettes and lip glosses and lashes and pigments, but I haven't really used them enough to be like, yes, go and get them. The palette is beautiful and their lashes are actually really stunning, but the base is the one product that I would absolutely recommend to anybody and it's like 10 pounds and lasts forever so i'm just taking this peachy shade right here just on the same brush and of course just using that to further blend those edges i don't know why i do this it's just like really pretty to me i don't love brow highlights i think sometimes they can like pull the eye down if you do too much of one i kind of prefer bringing all the shadow out into the temple and then putting like a little bit of a shimmer so yeah, just a super quick eye look of the shades i've used this is actually quite a nice palette i've never used ciate london products before actually i'm pretty sure i might have used the they did like lipsticks that were like shimmery or something but i don't actually think i've used anything else and to be honest i'm not entirely sure if i use that um yeah that's actually really fucking nice. They've blended beautifully, the pigment's nice. So then for my lid, I'm actually gonna take those two little eye products from the XX Revolution collection. So it's a liquid eyeshadow and then a loose pigment. Loose pigment is purple, obviously. And then the liquid eyeshadow is kind of like oil slick. So it's like purple, green, blue, yellow. I'm just gonna pop the liquid shadow all over my lid. I don't normally like products like this. Like I prefer brighter lids, but I was kind of in the mood to do like a dark smoky eye. Okay, I'm just gonna take the pigment straight over the top and hope it sticks. That's pretty, right? 
So obviously the pigment is not like really bright and shimmery. It is kind of like a dark purple oil slick, but I'm kind of liking that. I don't normally do eye looks like this, so sure. So I also just took a little bit of the Spectrum highlighter, popped it on my brow bone and a little bit on my inner corner. I am going to go ahead and do the same thing on my other eye and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I went ahead and threw on a pair of lashes. I have no fucking idea what these are. They're always on my shelf and I've used them about 30 times. Also ran those same purple colors just under my eyes. I always do it off camera because I'm a lazy so for lips, I have a couple of products from Maybelline. I have never tried the pencils, but I've tried the Superstay Matte Inks before and they're f***ing horrible. So hopefully they've like reformulated. I mean, I'm pretty sure these are new because I only got them the other day. But um, I'm hoping they've reformulated because the last time I tried them, they were gross. So I've got the Superstay Ink Crayon, which I'm going to try first. Hopefully this will kind of give this a little bit of hydration. I've also got a shit ton of lip balm on my lips. So in the lip pencil, I have the shade 90, which is called Keep It Fun. And then in the matte ink thing, it's shade 180. Mm, that's very pink. It's a pig. You were supposed to be being quiet. It's not bad. It's got like coverage. I'm not talking to you. These are not for precise lip lines. So I'm going to take the shade 180 and the matte ink. And I'm hoping this is, like I said, kind of giving it a little bit of a nicer base because these are so dry. I just don't know what part of quiet you'd understand. Okay, so initial reaction, this feels a million times more comfortable than the first time I used them. I love the color. Okay, I've just left the lip for a couple of minutes. It's not as bad as I remember, but like, it's just a very like strange formula. If I'm talking, my lips will stick together. And I can imagine without the pencil underneath, this would be a lot worse. I don't know whether to put a gloss on. Do I have a gloss? I might just put a gloss on just for the sake of like not doing that. Okay, so through a gloss, mmm, that's not my teeth. Okay, so through a gloss on that is a lot more comfortable. So I think these kind of could work if you had like a nice hydrated base and then put a gloss over top. Also this color is super beautiful. So I'm not like as mad as I thought I would be. Oh, so I have this vitamin C powder from Technique. This is like the third video that I've put this on the desk to use and I just haven't used it. So maybe one day. I literally just noticed it was there. I completely forgot. So lastly, to set my face, I'm going to be taking the Aiden Cake Collab with Sosu. I have never actually tried anything from Sosu before. Aiden is super sweet. I met her in LA at the ABH party. She is from Ireland. And yeah, she came out with a collection with Sosu. So there is a Set and Refresh Perfecting Mist. They also came out with an eyeliner and an eyeshadow palette, which I haven't used yet, but I will get around to using at some point. The packaging on this is stunning. I thought this was like the product, but it's not. It's the bottle. It kind of looks like silk like that is gorgeous this is also like huge which i'm obsessed with okay that smells wonderful i feel refreshed my skin looks nice cute okay guys so this is the final result what do you think I kind of love it. I think everything for the most part worked really really well i'd say all in all a very successful first impressions we just we will but everything else I am super, super impressed with. I think the eyes came out cute. And again, I don't normally do eye looks like this. Just something just smoky and glamour and simple. I always get like really stuck between doing creative stuff or achievable stuff. Let me know what you would prefer. Do you want stuff that you can like recreate easily? Or would you rather I do creative like super over the top stuff? Because honestly, I'm down for whatever. But yeah, I would say a very successful first impressions. I'm, like I said, really impressed with everything. The XX Revolution Foundation especially. They did such a good job with these foundations. I'm not shitting you. Surprising, I mean, not surprisingly, but I really like the highlight. I say surprisingly because it is a little bit more gold than I would normally go for, but this is gorgeous. I think the eyeshadows worked really well. I'm not mad at this lip, which I really thought I was going to be, just because I have tried the matte inks before and I hated it so i don't know if it's just the addition of the crayon that kind of gave it a little bit more hydration or the gloss that's just kind of like keeping it from not drying out completely but yeah i like it or the bronzer love the bronzer so the new splendor bronzer from makeup revolution again really really beautiful yeah i'm super happy with this i really hope you guys enjoyed of course if you did please give it a thumbs up please subscribe to my channel if you have any drugstore recommendations, I would love to know, so pop them down below. And of course, if you tried any of these, if you are going to try any of these, again, let me know. Let me know your thoughts. I will go ahead and pop a full list of everything I've used in today's video in the description box, so if you are interested and can't be fucking bothered to watch it all again, everything will be down there for you. Other than that, I really hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I love you, and I will hopefully catch you in the next one. Bye, guys.